Hello, hello everyone, this is Mike at Play Favorites, where a friendly neighborhood toy store conveniently located in Royal Plaza in beautiful Front Royal, Virginia. And yes, we are only conveniently located if you happen to live in Front Royal or thereabouts. Now, my goal in life this evening is to tell you all about this plethora, this bounty of delightful Japanese gel pens which we have from the company BC Mini. Now, first of all, these pens are a lot of fun to write with. They are super duper smooth, but not only that, they will also last for years and years. They are just straight up great pens. Now to celebrate these great pens, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each and every one. An interesting fact. I uh, wrote down some notes just in case I forget something. All right, let's start with popcorn. Did you know that popcorn is illegal did you know that popcorn is illegal in the state of Ohio? Because the original governor of Ohio, his actual name was Mr. Ohio, uh, he was allergic to corn. Now, obviously, this is just a dead letter. People have popcorn in Ohio, in Ohio all the time. But somewhere deep in the depths of the state municipal court of Ohio, there is a bill that says that popcorn is illegal. Now let's talk about bread. Now, we've all heard the slang which uh, equates uh, bread with money. Do you know why that happened? Back in the day, people thought that corn, because, not corn, wheat, because the sheaths were, were golden, they thought that there was actual gold in there. Now, you couldn't walk around. It's very awkward to put that a whole sheath of, uh, sheave of corn in your pocket and walk around and hand it to the shoemaker and buy shoes. So instead, they would make bread out of the wheat and then they would slice the bread and they would shove the slices of bread into their pockets and let's say you wanted a new pair of shoes you'd go to the shoemaker and he'd be like how much for this pair over here he'd be like that's three breads you'd be like oh well i've got a five bread bill right here so then he would slice off uh one fifth of that bread or two fifths of that bread you would give him the third, the, the, the three-fifths that remained, put the other two-fifths back in your pocket and walk out with your new pair of shoes. Now let's talk about sharks. Did you know that sharks are actually legumes or legumes? Okay, I bet you didn't know that. Uh, next, we have this adorable, adorable eggplant pen. Did you know that in many parts of the world, in fact, every part of the world other than America, the eggplant is known as the aubergine, and it is also universally renowned as the cutest of all vegetables. Now, let's talk about watermelons. We have three watermelon pens here. We have the happy watermelon. We have the king watermelon. He looks like this, see? Ooh, the king watermelon. Um, and we have the pirate watermelon. Now we're just going to talk about the pirate watermelon for now. Do you know what a pi the pirate watermelon's favorite letter of the alphabet is? I know what you're thinking. You think it's arg, I, but it's not. My favorite letter would be the C, arg. Okay, lobsters. Isn't that the most adorable little lobster pen? Lobsters are not natural creatures. They were synthesized in laboratories to be as delicious as possible. Now, they synthesized a few in the laboratories and they put them into the ocean so that they could breed in the wild because wild caught lobster is just more delicious. And then they just catch them again. And this way you don't have to have lobster storage for every single lobster in the world. But yep, lobster, that is a synthesized creature. Now, see this adorable little dog? When I was a kid, I had one just like it. Now, I have five siblings. My mom was a wonderful mom, but she sometimes didn't have time to play outside with me. So what she would do when I was young, probably about two years old through five years old, she would tie a leash to the dog and tie the other end of the leash around my belly, and the dog would actually take me for a walk. How about that? All right, we're going to talk about dinosaurs now. Now, this is actually an inaccurate pen because dinosaurs do not come from eggs. They don't come from mommy dinosaurs either. Dinosaurs actually grow on trees. Okay, now let's talk about strawberries. This one is pretty simple, but I think pretty fascinating, and it presents a little challenge for you viewers at home. The current world records for the world record for the most strawberries that someone has ever fit in their mouth is 74. Let's see if you can top that. Strawberries are a little expensive this time of year, so you might want to wait until spring or summer. All right, now, 
This is one of my favorite vegetables in the world. It's called broccoli. Did you know that in Sweden, instead of leaving cookies out on Christmas Eve for Santa, they leave a stalk of broccoli. In Sweden, Santa is also a lot thinner. All right, now we're gonna talk about pears. Do you know why pears are called pears? Pears actually used to grow before we had all of this um, GMO farming. Pears would grow on a stalk with two pears on a stalk. Now, you would have to buy them in twos. However, then there was uh, the Great Depression. And during the Great Depression, could, people could not afford to buy two pears at once. They would buy one pear and they would slice it up into itty bitty pieces and share it with their whole family but you were only buying one. So it doesn't really make sense today that the pear is called a pear, but originally they were bought and actually they grew in pears. Now let's talk about French fries. Now we're gonna get a little bit historical. The French fry is actually an Indian food. However, during the, what war was that? Oh boy, this was during the, uh, the French-Indian War, which took place between 750, 1754 and 1763, the, uh, this was a war between the Nor North America and, uh, and, and, and other places. Um, the French were in this war, obviously, and they learned about French fries from the Indians. But the Indians don't make fast food, didn't make fast food restaurants, and they were an oral tradition, they weren't a written tradition, and so word of the French fry didn't really get around. So the French stole that, and they kept it for themselves. Darn those French. The French fry should actually be called, well, in modern parlance, the Native American fry. Okay, now let's talk about crocodiles for a second. All crocodiles that I have ever met need therapy. However, none of them ever went ahead and got that therapy because the crocodiles are in denial. Now we're going to talk about mustaches. My science teacher in high school actually had a purple mustache. True story. Now this over here is the peach. This one is very simple. At Play Favorites, we will barter peach cobbler for toys, if it's good peach cobbler. Carrots. You may have heard that carrots are good for your eyesight. Well, my cousin heard the same thing and he had horrible vision. So he ate one two pound bag of California carrots every day for about seven years. Eventually, his eyesight didn't get better, but eventually he grew two extra eyes. They were behind his other eyes. So he just had like really bulgy eyes. Uh, let's talk about custard. Do you know how custard was invented? Custard was invented in Nebraska. There was a tornado. A whole, a whole chicken coop, like a giant industrial chicken coop, got picked up in the tornado and the eggs got all whipped up in that giant tornado and the next day it rained custard and custard was invented. Dogs wearing hats. Now in Constantinople, which is now known as Istanbul, once a year on March 22nd, Always, no matter what day of the week it falls out on, they have a dog hat wearing contest. People show up with their dogs. They put a hat on their dog's head. Since this is Turkey, it's probably a fez, one of those tall red hats with a, with a tassel coming down on the top. And the winner of the contest is the person who owns the dog, is the person who's the, the, the last dog still wearing a hat, because dogs will try to shake their hats off after a while. So the last dog still wearing a hat is the winner of that contest fascinating. All right, now we're going to talk about soda. My great-grandfather actually invented grape soda. He was eating grapes and drinking seltzer one day, one after the other, just pounding, the double fisting the grapes and then the seltzer. And then he burped and he was like, golly gee whiz, that is really delicious. And he invented grape soda, just like that. Now we're going to talk about tomatoes. Did you know that if you have car insurance with State Farm, you can lower that car insurance by as much as 20% if you keep a tomato in your glove compartment and in your console. Studies have shown that people who keep tomatoes in their glove compartments and consoles are less of a liability for uh, accidents on the road. I don't know. It's a fact, though. Uh, now we're going to talk about pumpkins. Ooh. Now, many cultures, many cultures, many civilizations, including some very wise and ancient ones, say that if you sleep with a pumpkin in your bed, it will bring wonderful good luck for your entire life. This is Mike at Play Favorites. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Toodles.